Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the CNCF Wasm Cloud project update. We are a sandbox project in the CNCF, uh, primarily under the application platform or the scheduling and orchestration section. Uh, I like to say that we're in the same category as Kubernetes, just a smaller box, kind of all the way in the bottom right corner. So that's very fun. You all have probably heard of the word uh, cloud before, but not all of you have heard of uh, WASM before. So I always love asking this question. Who has heard of WebAssembly or WASM in this room? Actually, I love the ratio of that going up every single year. Um, so I will do a quick just run through on what WASM is just for the folks who haven't heard of it, because it's important. It is the core piece of the WASM cloud project, uh, which is our unit of compute for the application platform. And it really is just like a tiny virtual machine. You write code in a language of your choice, you compile it to WebAssembly instead of a native binary or something that you would execute as a script, and then it can run on anywhere that a WASM runtime can run, which is a browser or on the server side, on x86, on ARM, et cetera. So this is really important for us in order to work as an app platform. Our, our actual applications are composed of WebAssembly components. And what that is, is basically just a small little piece, a small architecture and operating system agnostic binary. It actually does look like assembly, but like I said, you're just writing code and then compiling it to that. And every single WebAssembly component has a set of imports and exports. You can kind of think of this like the CFFI boundary. That's how it actually gets things done. And we operate with a set of common imports and exports like HTTP, blob store, key value, logging, these common application components uh, that you use in cloud native applications every day. So these components, you can not only build applications with them, you can compose them together, uh, which is a core piece of how we have, you know, if you have multiple different microservices in your application, they talk to each other over this component boundary. And uh, the really important part of this is in the WebAssembly specification in the standard is a very strong uh, security boundary that's driven by these common interfaces. And these different components actually don't share anything when they run. So that is a little bit of a preamble and preview. It sounds like a lot of people knew about WebAssembly already, which is awesome. So just to get into what the Wasm Cloud project is, it is both a platform and we have associated tools like an orchestrator for declarative deployments. It's completely cloud edge and platform agnostic. So this is just a binary that you can run on Linux, Mac, or Windows. We distribute a container. We can run in Kubernetes. It's really important for us as an app platform to not be tightly tied to a specific cloud, specific platform. You can extend it with your own capabilities in addition to the common ones like HTTP servers and blob stores, the things you need for your application to run. And what we actually do is under the hood, we use another CNCF project called NATS for all of our networking and RPC back and forth between components at runtime. And so what this creates is this really nice flat platform that you can orchestrate applications across. They can communicate together at runtime, the same if they were running on one computer as they are across different availability zones, different regions, very simple to test. We're also very into uh, reinventing the entire wheel when it comes to application, uh, the binary. So running with WebAssembly is very different than running with a regular binary, but we love to integrate with existing standards, existing CNCF projects wherever possible. So we distribute our artifacts using OCI. You can just store regular old WASM components in OCI registries. We use open application model for our declarative manifests. We are completely OTEL observable, so logging metrics traces comes out of the box for your applications from day one. And we use cloud events as a standard format for all the things that happen in our system. All those things are just really nice to combine together into, uh, into a cloud native project. So we are, uh, in addition to integrating with common cloud native standards, we are a leading integrator of a standards compliant uh, WebAssembly platform. So the standards that come out of the WebAssembly specification and the cloud, uh, the server side standards and the WebAssembly system interface, we implement all of those. Uh, we're huge on what comes out of the CNCF and the Bytecode Alliance. And it's really important for us to, to keep that going to be an open and, and standards based platform. 
We're seeing a lot of growing industry adoption as WebAssembly and our project matures. Uh, we've been going and doing WebAssembly things on the server side since about 2019, so we've been doing this for, for quite a while, which is when I started on with the project. We've been security audited um, and hadn't passed that, which was great. Um, seeing adoption in a, in a variety of uh, Fortune 100 companies, some of them which you could see talking at Wasm Day today. So, <laughs> like I like to say, we've, we've got integration with standards, we've got the good old YAML on slides. Uh, something like this will look fairly familiar. It's, it's a manifest for how we would define a WebAssembly uh, small application. So we're running a component from an OCI registry and we are uh, linking that component to uh, an Azure Blob Store component uh, at runtime. Of course, no demo for today, um, but this is kind of what it looks like to lay out a small WebAssembly application. Not too different than like a Kate's deployment, uh, and this is all kind of done declaratively. We also, uh, good old YAML on slides, we also have a Kubernetes operator, which we've been working with, which is really nice. You can interact with these WebAssembly resources natively with your kube control uh, commands. You can define the way that you want to uh, run the topology of those actual Wasm Cloud hosts, uh, which is really nice just to have that Kubernetes native integration. And uh, last but not least, the last thing that I want to talk about today is that we have been in Sandbox for a little over, uh, what day is it, a little over three years now. So we have applied for incubating, which we uh, think that we're really excited to move to that next step within the CNCF. So I think that's all that I have for you today. So maybe next year I'll see you at the, at the, the incubating project talks. Thanks, folks.